Today, Kevin and I are gonna be opening a box from City Snack Pack. They sent me uh, this box. I had no idea it was coming, so it was a complete surprise to me. I have already opened the box and looked through it. Kevin had Kevin does not know what's in it, uh, but I wanted to take pictures for you all and of the packages and all that, like I always do. And uh, so I have already seen everything in here, but I packed it, repacked it exactly like it came. So you open the box and you get a giant card that uh, tells you the treats, uh, the city uh, from where the treats came from. So there's a, this um, uh, snack pack is cool because you get a different city every single month. So this month it is Welcome to Chicago. Now. I don't know if that's what's out in February. This box, I looked at the date, this box was actually mailed to us on uh, January 14th. We're just now getting it. And we're into February and we're just now getting this box. And it was mailed from Cincinnati, Ohio. So I don't know Which why. pretty close. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very close. That's where like Jungle Gyms, when we go to Jungle Gyms, that's where that's at. So I don't know why it took so long to get to us. And we didn't know it was coming, so it's not like we're tracking it or anything. No, but we do check our PO box. And I mean, this just got to us because we had checked it. Uh, but this may have been the, I'm assuming this was the January box. Uh, but it says, welcome to Chicago. I'm just to give you an idea of what's in the box. Yes. And so on this card, it tells you about, uh, it says, uh, located along the Great Lakes shoreline in the Midwest, Chicago is the third largest city in the U United States. The Windy City is known for its beautiful architecture, music scene, love of sports, and world-class dining. It is also a very diverse city full of local businesses that make amazing products. You will get to try some of those in this curated snack box. Enjoy. This box supports six local American businesses. And then it says Chicago Facts. Until 2014, Willis Tower, formerly Sears Tower, was the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. Chicago is the railroad capital of the United States. Around 3 million people live in the Chicago land area. And, uh, so, it, and then on the back, it gives you a map. And then it also tells you about uh, the food in the box. So uh, we have Garrett popcorn. They also give you a nice sticker. They give you a sticker. Uh, Garrett popcorn. And then what? Do you, what, do you, what is this right here? Um, Mrs. Fisher's, Mrs. Fisher's potato chips. So they sent us the regular potato chips, and then they oh. also sent us the barbecue. That was well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, this the, is barbecue. regular and barbecue. And then mosaics. Vegetable and potato chip barbecue. And then we have um, Whatever you tell this me. right here. This is mm -hmm. Nikki Darling Confections. It's like marshmallows. And then that one is called B&B &B Ice Cream and Candy. Looks like Bob. Uh-huh. <laughs> it, 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 I thought it said Bob too and it's B&B. &B. And then who is this? It's Four Brothers Chocolates. Yes, Four Brothers Chocolates. So, so I was expecting it to just be like snacks, like you know, geared towards or, or themed uh, Chicago. It's neat that these are actually local companies. Yeah, oh yeah, they're supporting like local them. candy shops and stuff like that. That's cool. So now we're gonna try. So do you want to try the the marshmallows? <laughs> um, this is a Nikki Darling Confections. Nikki Darling Confections is a boutique candy company owned and operated by Evan Coben. Her lifelong passion for candy led her to culinary school and has since blossomed into a growing small business in Chicago. Her knowledge of food science and confectionery arts has allowed her to recreate her favorite classic American candy with a handmade touch. Enjoy these marshmallows in a hot cup of cocoa or just eat them right out of the bag. And you, you know what we're going to do. We're going to eat them right out of the bag. Okay, so does it have calories or anything like that? This says, these are vanilla bean marshmallows. You get six pieces and it, Didn't look like it does not have calories. No, it's NikkiDarlingConfections.com. Looks good. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
It, um, I love the texture of it. Mm -hmm. It's a good thick marshmallow too. Yes, it has a little bit of a tug on it, so it's not completely just, um, it's not all um, just fluff. It, yeah. There's a little bit of a, like the out, outer coating is has a little toughness to it. Yep, they're good. I and, like and it. For a marshmallow, it's good. It tastes like <laughs> a vanilla marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, don't expect it to be anything different than what it is. No, it is a vanilla marshmallow. Yeah, it, it would it's be nice. really good at a hot chocolate. Yes. So let's try the uh, potato chips. Yep. Okay, we have regular and barbecue from Mrs. Fisher's Potato Chips. All the air is out of these bags. <laughs> Ethel and Eugene Fisher began making their classic potato chips in 1932 from their home at the corner of Charles and 7th Street in the Chicagoland area. The work was all done by hand, from unloading potatoes to peeling and cooking them. Today, their business has three route drivers that ship and distribute their crunchy chips across the region. Can you believe they started in their home? Their home, making potato chips. Uh, this, um, this bag is 140 calories. And the barbecue is 150. Okay. They taste like. It tastes chicken. like a plain potato chip. Yeah. I would like a little bit more salt. I would do. I was thinking that too. And they're a little, they're a little hard. They're a little hard. Yeah. yeah. They're harder than a Lay's. Yeah. But they're not like a kettle cook. No, no, no. They're not. They're not bad. Well, I tell you what. That's that's almost the whole bag. Well, they're low calorie. So this whole yeah, bag. That's it. One fifty. I think. Is one hundred fifty calories. That's why you don't get that many. This the same calories in uh, a bag of the single lays. That's true. You know, so I mean, that's what you're getting is you're getting a single serving. So this is the barbecue. And what kind of a barbecue is it going to be? Sweet and smoky. More smoky. Mm. The barbecue are good. They're a little softer than the regular chips. That's too. delicious, and mm -hmm. I love the uh, the salt. They they mm -hmm. they brought the salt with those. Yeah, those those, are the, one, those are the ones I'd buy. Yeah. Yeah. I love that flavor. I love that smoky flavor mm -hmm. and the sweetness. They put enough um, yeah, those powder are good. on them. That, yeah, the yeah. barbecue are the best ones. Those are nice. Okay, let's try the mosaics next. Mosaics. In addition to creating these delicious snacks, Mosaics proudly supports the Chicago Mosaic School, CMS. It's the first and only premier not-for-profit mosaic art school in North America. Oh, that's cool. So they're um, popped veggie and potato crisps. Chips. Yeah, uh, they're organic, and these are barbecue. 23 chips per serving, so it's 100 calories. They're made of organic green peas, organic yellow peas, potatoes, black beans, tomatoes, and olive oil. That's a nice flavor. I like the texture. The texture kind of reminds me of a... Um, they're a softer version of like a... Uh, those popcorn things. The popped. They're, are, are popped. They popped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're uh, certified gluten free. I want one with a lot of stuff on it. I know. They're. Um, I like the flavor of those, and you would never know there's peas and and stuff mm -hmm. like that. They yeah. taste. They're softer than like corn tortilla, but they're they're they are a nice texture. No, and they like do that. have. There's a lot of spices going on, mm -hmm. but it's nothing hot. Um, like mm -hmm. if you can't have spicy food. Uh, this would be a nice barbecue for you to have. Yeah. Um, it, it, I don't get any smokiness. No, I mean, maybe a touch, but not, not over. No. Not like the other. Not no, like not the like chips. the chips. Uh, yeah, and I like the texture as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, that's really pleasant. nice. Yeah. Okay, these. They're um, pleasant to eat. Um, yes. Yeah. This is the Garrett popcorn. I just been cut them very easier. <laughs> Garrett Popcorn, a Chicago institution. Garrett Popcorn Shops was started by a female entrepreneur who developed the now famous recipes in her family kitchen. The first shops in Chicago sold caramel crisp, cheese corn, buttery, and plain for five cents a bag. Alongside homemade fudge and roasted nuts. Kernels were hot air popped. Caramel crisp was cooked in copper kettles and finished recipes were hand scooped right before fans' eyes, just like today. So I wonder if this company 
still makes fudge and does roasted nuts and stuff. Oh. Wonder if, uh, that'd be neat if they still did fudge. You know we like fudge. Um, so this is the Garrett mix. Um, so it's gonna be uh, caramel and cheese. We've heard it called the Chicago mix. Uh, so it is three fourths cups is 150 calories. This entire bag is 330 calories. So did you get one of one? I got together first. Oh. So try it separate. I'm trying it separate first. Yeah. And they packed that bag. Uh-huh. That's full. The cheese is good. It's not a really strong cheese flavor. Mm -hmm. The caramel Ooh. is really good. I love that caramel. Yeah, the caramel is like excellent. Wow. If I was to get a bag, I would just get a bag of the caramel. Mm-hmm. The cheese is not bad, don't get me wrong. It's just not super, super strong like the caramel is. I, I like the combination, mm -hmm. but I'll tell you what, that caramel is excellent. It's good, it's and, not too hard. And the cheese, the cheese is good too. It's just not as strong as a cheese flavor as I was hoping it would have. From as orange as they are, I thought mm -hmm. they'd be stronger. I think it's excellent. I, I really, really do. I, I love that. I, I think I would absolutely, if I lived in the area, I'd buy a whole bag of that caramel because mm -hmm. that is good stuff. Good. And it makes me wonder if they make different flavors. Okay, candy. Let's do the B and B. Looks like there's a bunch of different ones. B and B ice cream and candy. There's nothing more classic than getting some candy from your local ice cream and candy store. B and B is a small, family-owned business on the south side, run by Ellen and her daughter Lauren. And the store also offers savory treats like hot dogs and nachos. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. I'm pretty sure these are just candies they bought mm -hmm. and, and packaged together in a bag. Oh. Cause that is a- That is a Sour Patch Kid. Yeah, that's a Sour Patch Kid. Those are- um, the, Those are uh, Swedish Fish. No, I mean the, the watermelon, those we just are, tried something uh, very similar to that. Yeah, those are, um, I think those are Sour Patch Kids too. Yeah, the watermelon. Those are the Sour Patch Kids watermelon. Those are the rings. I don't know that we need to try it. I mean, we can try them if you want to, but they've just literally packaged. Yeah, them. that that is what it, that is. Is they've got they um, gummy bears. I guess they collect it for you, and then you buy it. Uh, yeah, it's like, just a bag. Okay. We can try them if you want. I mean, no, I we can. I, I don't mind trying. I want to try this. Uh, just for the video's sake, I need to try the sour patch. Well, the Swedish fish had sugar all over them from the from how it sit in the bag. I like the. I love one. the texture of a sour patch cap. Mm -hmm. The watermelon ones were my one of my favorite ones. What is that pink one? Watermelon. That light that light pink one. Oh, is it the same? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's watermelon. That's the best one in the the bag, I think. Mean. Those last month. Um, the Sour Patch Kids Bites made our favorites video. They're excellent. The little watermelon ones, I love them. Anytime you can get anything Sour Patch Kids, uh, you just, gummies, you need to get them because uh, they're just awesome. They're Ashley's, our daughter Ashley, they're her favorites too. That is what that is. We yeah. don't have to it's try It's repackaged candy. Yeah. It's but like I they like buy it. them in bulk and they just package it together. That would be, i tell you what that would be awesome for, is for a birthday party. And as the kids oh, are going yeah, out the door, what do they call those, a goodie bag or something? As kids are leaving your birthday party, especially if you were having like a circus theme or something like that, that would be awesome to give to each kid that mm -hmm. came to the party. I love that. To me, that's a bag of happiness right yeah. there. Just know that it's not something they're making. I no, just want to make sure no. that people know that that's not They're a... not hand making that in their kitchen. Right, they're not making that candy. Yeah, they're, they're okay. Repackaged. This is Four Brothers Chocolates. This artisan chocolate business was started in 2011 by the parents of John Houlihan, who is currently the owner. He and his three brothers work at their shop in Wheaton, keeping the family tradition of making chocolate alive. I think that's cool. I like family businesses like that. Um, this is Butter Almond Toffee. Mm -hmm. Fourbrotherschocolates.com is their website. That piece of chocolate's loose, so you gotta kinda hold it on. Okay. Wonder if I could just eat that whole. Maybe. <laughs> mm, okay. It's not that hard. Um, it's a nice toffee. It's not brittle because it's not really hard. It's a toffee because it's kind of a crumbly and soft. I mean, not soft, but softer. That's a really good flavor. I love mm -hmm. that. Even if they didn't put the chocolate on there, 
just the toffee itself mm -hmm. would be really, really good. It, the toffee, it, it's delicious. I love toffee. It's not as sweet as Roca. No. The Roca brand, but. It's not quite as soft as the Roca either. But I think that's excellent. It's very, I, very I love it. I, but I'm a huge fan of the toffee mm -hmm. too. Um, I think this is a very, very nice box. It's a nice um, difference. Uh, it's a grouping of stuff. Yes. The um, only bad thing, and I know this is the one they picked, this is the only one I'm kind of disappointed in because you can get this any, you can get this stuff anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing special about this, really. I mean, if they'd given us some fudge from them or some candy from something that, company, that they make, something that they actually make, I would be more impressed. This is something I can go to, I can go to Walmart right now and buy pretty all much all of this stuff. Right. So they didn't really give me anything from Chicago. That's what I'm saying. From that place. Yeah, from this company. Right. Everything yeah. else, though, is. From everything else is. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. the only thing that disappoints me a little bit. Is right. Time. Everything else is from. But China. the next city they do, they they they're not going to do that. So this just happens to be the one. Right. They got. Well, I'm sure there's places in Kentucky that you were. Oh, repackaged stuff. That same yeah. bag. Yeah. Um, I looked at the website because uh, there was no information in the box about how much it costs or anything. Uh, their website is citysnackpack.com. You get. When you go to their website, a uh, thing comes up, a block that says save 10%. So you can automatically put in your email and say they'll send you a 10% off coupon if you do that. Um, these boxes, if you pay per month, it's $38. For th if you sign up for three months, it's only $35 a month. So you save some money every month by by buying in bulk, uh, signing up for more months. Uh, for If you sign up for a six month subscription, it's $34 a month. And if you sign up for a whole year, it's only $32 a month. So 38 for one, or you can save and, and get them for 32 if you sign up for a whole year. But- they, I'm assuming that, that covers shipping. You, sometimes shipping's included, sometimes it's not. Um, I did not look. Yeah. You would have to check you that. To if check you're interested, to, you'll have to check into I'm, that. I'm saying that just so you know, to make sure it does or doesn't cover I that. know nothing about shipping. I didn't even think to look at that. I apologize. Yeah, it's all right. uh, but they do have a different city every month. And there's many, many, many cities, so they could do this. Uh, they could do this for a long time. Honestly, that price is on par with, with most other, other snack yes. boxes. Um, you know, if you look at this and go, "That's worth the money," then then that's a decision you made. You know, yeah. some people are going to look at that and go, "No way, I'd pay that much." Right. Money. So it's just it just depends you. on yeah. It depends yeah, on what and and whether you're willing to pay that or not. Right. And if you do order this box, we will not know about it. Yeah. We're, we we there's no code or anything to let no. them know you're ordering it from no. us or anything like that. We got this box for free, but we will have no idea if you order mm -hmm. one or not. We get nothing out of it. I I want to make that clear. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed it. I love getting to try stuff yeah. from different places yeah, like this. I do, too. do you have a favorite thing? It's kind of hard because everything's different. Well, the candy, I would get the toffee. I love the toffee. Um, but, but it's pretty high-end candy. I love that Garrett caramel. I want um, a bag of just the caramel corn. <laughs> yeah, the, that's good, but I would probably pick the mosaics. The mosaics. I really, really uh, like and them. I love these barbecue, these chips. barbecue chips. Those mm -hmm. barbecue chips are awesome. I probably wouldn't get the regular chips because I'd rather have Lay's because yeah. they're saltier and greasier. Uh, but I love that barbecue flavor. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.